We cannot let our angels go. We do not see that they only go out, that archangels might come in. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, connecting from all over Mother Earth. On this Casa Day, where the current is now flowing from the portal of the Casa de Don Ignacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love, here in Virginia, in the heart of Brazil, joining us right across the globe, one family, heart to heart. And the heat is back. <laughs> we had a little reprieve at the weekend with some rain, but now we're back to hot, hot, hot. It's only weather after all. And we have a deep blue sky, which unites us right across the world. We're all standing on Mother Earth, looking up at the same sky. And it reminds us of the mantle of our Divine Mother Mary, her love and protection. And we have fluffy white clouds of all shapes and sizes passing slowly by. In remembrance of our impermanence, we are just travellers here on earth and all things pass and all things are impermanent. And we're being held in a majestic high vibration of Mother Nature. There's just so much activity here now with all the birds. It's the mating season. So we have two cans and we have beautiful big array azules with their blue underbellies flying in formation overhead. And just outside here we have the gorgeous chattering electric green parrots. So we're very well entertained as we relax into this divine work wherever you are in the world if you're lying down great if you're under a crystal bed super and if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current if you firmly on the ground to ground us don't cross your body in any way be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras pouring forth from the center of our being our heart chakra joining us in communion in this holy hour or so right across the globe this wonderful current of love and light put a glass of water beside you it is blessed and we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us mind body and spirit and as we close our physical eyes which is totally necessary for this deep connection the best sight is insight we leave the material world behind with all of its stresses, problems, difficulties, challenges. And we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is. We are reminded again and again that we are not the body. We're much more than we think. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. So many entities of light and love working with us 24 seven. As we reach out to them and ask with a contrite heart and we receive everything we need and more for the journey. And today is a great celebration. It's called Michaelmas, also known as the feasts of St. Michael, Gabriel and Raphael the archangels angels are messengers from God and they appear frequently in scripture but only Michael Gabriel and Raphael are actually named Michael appears in Daniel's vision as the great prince who defends Israel against its enemies in the book of revelations he leads God's army to final victory over the forces of evil and devotion to Michael is the oldest angelic devotion, rising in the East in the 4th century. Gabriel also makes an appearance in Daniel's vision, announcing Michael's role in God's plan. His best known appearance is an encounter with a young Jewish girl named Mary, who consents to bear the Messiah. Raphael's activity is confined to the Old Testament in the story of Tobit. There he appears to guide 
Tobit's son, Tobiah, through a series of fantastic adventures, which leads to a threefold happy ending. Tobiah's marriage to Sarah, the healing of Tobit's blindness, and the restoration of the family fortune. That's going to be, have to be for another day. There's a lot to unpack here with the Archangels. Each of the Archangels performs a different mission. Michael protects. Gabriel announces. And Raphael guides. And all together, they are the patron saints of death, Germany, grocers, first responders, and radiologists. Saint Gabriel is the patron saint of broadcasters and communicators. He is the messenger and hopefully today he will help us with our internet problems that we had yesterday. Thank you, Gabriel. Saint Raphael is the patron saint of the blind and of travellers. And the Archangel Michael, who is so popular, particularly now in this day and age, when there is a huge battle going on between the light and the dark. It's resurfaced again after millennia. He is the greatest of all the angels, the prince, and he is honoured for defeating Lucifer in the war in heaven. St. Michael is the patron saint of the sea and maritime lands, of ships and bo both men and horses and horsemen. He was first seen as a healing angel and later Christian saw him as a protector, someone who defends and helps. And the leader of the army of God against the forces of evil. He is also the patron of sickness, police officers and the military. So we are in great hands with these powerhouses of angels, archangels multiplying the love light on earth all reminding us how close we are to the divine presence and they are available to us 24 7. so we reach out to them and ask them to help us in these challenging times on earth to multiply the christ consciousness which is all about love and forgiveness and Jesus told us many, many centuries ago that when a few are called in his name, he will be present. As we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness, may Christ return to earth and be reborn in every heart and soul. And may we walk our paths, trying to see with the eyes of Christ. Never see a need without doing something about it. And we ask our brother Jesus to help us to forgive ourselves, to forgive our brothers and sisters, to love ourselves, to love our brothers and sisters. In the teachings of the Christ Consciousness, Jesus always tells us to love our neighbour as ourselves and to forgive ourselves and everyone, everything, to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. And in the spirit of Dom Ignacio, who reminds us that there are 55 nations represented at the Casa how great is that or just one big family today's lord's prayer is brought to us by our beautiful sister Pirjo, wonderful daughter of the casa a light worker in her native language italian which is a special resonation with archangel michael his cave is in italy and it's uh, parts of the stone of the cave are represented here today. I have, I'm have, i honoured to have uh, pieces of Archangel Michael's cave and um, these are relics that are for protection and de-obsession so we're very honoured indeed. So we are reminded that God speaks vibration and God answers all prayers no matter what the language and our prayers are answered always and in all ways as we surrender to the will of God. Padre nostro che sei nei cieli, sia santificato il tuo nome, venga il tuo regno, sia fatta la tua volontà, come in cielo, così in terra. Dacci oggi il nostro pane quotidiano e rimetti a noi i nostri debiti, 
come anche noi li rimettiamo a nostri debitori. E non abbandonarci alla tentazione, ma liberaci dal male. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. Mary is the Queen of Heaven. She is the uh, Queen of all of the Archangels, the Angels. She is higher than the Seraphim, the Cherubim. She is Queen of all the Saints and she is with us every step of this journey and of course she was very young when she received the message of our beautiful angel Gabriel and she said yes to become the mother of the Messiah We ask her in this sacred moment to intercede for us, her children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these challenging times on earth now as we go within on the journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the joy, the love, the forgiveness, the gratitude, the abundance, the patience, the humility, deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all incarnate and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation, into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Ave Maria, piena di grazia. Il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen.
God has made heaven and earth and all the angels and all the extra important archangels who are God's very special friends and are shining and strong and powerful. And one of the most popular, admired, renowned and powerful archangels is Michael, who is an almighty force of protection and divinity. He is the leader of angels and banisher of all negativity and ill will that interferes with humanity. So he's very much an angel of our time. And with such prestige and power, Archangel Michael communicates with us directly. Let's think of him as the bodyguard of the earthly world. While he is leading the good fight against evil and protecting us from harm's way, Archangel Michael is also called upon to lead and guide us through hard trials and truths. Michael is concerned chiefly with protection, truth, integrity, courage and strength. So we pray particularly in these challenging days of tumultuous unrest here and now for his intercession for our brothers and sisters all over Mother Earth. The name Michael in Hebrew means who is like God. And he is titled an archangel, which means that he is an angel, a messenger. But he is one of the chief angels. The prefix arch translates from the ancient Greek as chief or main. Thus his name and title unfold his mission. Archangel Michael is the chief messenger who represents God and acts on God's behalf. How lucky are we? Archangel Michael is one of the seven holy angels who are charged with the duty to carry the saints' prayers up to the Lord's throne. Archangel Michael led the angelic troops in the battle against the arrogant Lucifer, the Satan, which is why he is also known as the General, Prince and Commander-in-Chief. Archangel Michael possesses incredible power, both in the spiritual and physical realms. He cast Lucifer out of earth. No easy task. He is also credited with defeating 185,000 Assyrian soldiers in one night. Being the devil's adversary, he is traditionally venerated as the protector of the human race from evil spirits, especially at the time of our passing on when we leave these physical bodies behind. And judging by Archangel Michael's apparitions, we see that he's able to command forces of nature and tame wild beasts. Michael is portrayed with a fiery sword or a spear in his hands, casting out the devil. He also sometimes holds scales in his other hand to symbolize his participation in the calming judgment or his foresight the field of work that God entrusted to him. More than ever today, we urgently need to pay due devotion to the angels and archangels, since we live in a time when the sense of the sacred, spiritual and divine have been lost. And we must be open to and listen to God's providential response to the groaning needs of humanity. So in this sacred moment now let us pray with open hearts without ceasing, joyfully, trustingly, happily, knowing that all our prayers have been answered always and in all ways. As we call all the angels and archangels Angel of God, my holy protector, given to me from heaven by God for my protection, I fervently beseech you 
Enlighten me and preserve me from all evil. Instruct me in good deeds and direct me on the path of salvation. Amen.
Let us get to know our archangels. Saint Michael is the one angel who has appeared many times as a human. Four times he appeared powerfully dedicating Mont Saint Angelo in Italy, Saint Michael's cave, to himself. This is one of the holiest places throughout Christendom. Located on the eastern coast of Italy, it has been visited by countless popes and saints down through the centuries. Saint Francis of Assisi considered it to be so holy that he would not even enter it. These rocks that I have pictured here are from his cave and in Saint Michael's words anyone who has devotedly kept these stones with him would have been immune to the plague which was rampant in Italy at the time he appeared in the cave. These stones that you can see are now considered Saint Michael's relics and are successfully used for de-obsessions, as we call them, the clearing of denser energies in the Casa de Dom Ignacio, or as the church likes to call it, exorcism. We are reminded that angels are no substitute for God, but are a manifestation of God's presence among us here on earth and here's a fun fact <laughs> if we take a look at the archangels names Michael Raphael Gabriel they all end in L E L which is the basic system in the Hebrew word for God which is El Chayim. If we look at the name of the Archangel Michael, Mika in Hebrew, a word that stands for protection against evil. And if you add El, you get Michael, evolving to Michael today, which literally translates into God's protection against evil. By the same token, we find that if you add the basic stem El, El to Raphael, which means watch over in Hebrew, you get Raphael or Raphael, which becomes God watching over us or God guiding us. Gaba in Hebrew means to talk to or to communicate with. And if you add El, El, it becomes Gabriel, which translates into God talking or communicating with us, from which we derive Gabriel or messenger of God. So we have a lot to learn from these amazing archangels. And the angels are always the sign of the presence of God, of his careful and constant care of us here in our struggles here, particularly now on earth. Standing before God, close to him, archangels can reveal God's will and thoughts to us because God's message helps us on our journey to holiness. Let us be guided by these instruments of God's in our lives and get to know them as best we can. Angels exist. They are sent by God to help us to reach the holiness of life. So in this sacred moment, let us turn to our beautiful Saint Michael the Archangel, working tirelessly through the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, an amazing powerhouse of the de-obsession work that we do here. And the entities know no borders, no boundaries, no time or space. Let's just call upon him right here, right now, to help us. To let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. To protect us in these very challenging battles now on Earth.
He is with us every step of the journey, transmuting all denser energies into divine light as we arise, ascend together. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. O oh, glorious Archangel Saint Michael, Prince of the Heavenly Host, be our defense in the terrible warfare which we carry on against principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, the spirits of evil. Come to the aid of humanity, whom God created immortal, made in his own image and likeness and redeem at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. Fight this day the battle of the Lord, together with the holy angels, as already thou hast fought the leader of the proud angels, Lucifer, and his apostate host, who were powerless to resist thee, nor was there a place for them any longer in heaven. That cruel and ancient serpent, who is called the devil or Satan, who seduces the whole world, was cast into the abyss with his angels. Arise then, O invincible prince, bring help against the attacks of the lost spirits to the people of God, and give them the victory. O oh, pray to the God of peace, that he may put Satan under our feet, so far conquered, that he may no longer be able to hold men in captivity. Offer our prayers in the sight of the Most High, so that they might quickly conciliate the mercies of the Lord. And beating down the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, do thou against again make him captive in the abyss that he may no longer seduce the nations amen
Let us relax into our physical bodies now. Our hard work is over for now. Keeping our eyes closed to the end of the work. The best sight is insight, as we are open to receive now. Don't cross your body in any way. This current is flowing right across the world. The entities know no borders, no boundaries, no time or space. So let's put our intention into receiving a deep cleansing now, as we always do at the end of the current. Taking a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in the future with all of its hope, promise, joy, love, angels. Forgiveness, patience, humility, joy, laughter, peace coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood. And let us breathe out the past with all of its problems, difficulties, pain, hurt, rage, anger, anything and everything that no longer serves us, handing everything over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos. Transmuting all denser energy into divine light as we become unburdened, lighter, happier, healthier, stronger more peace and harmony with all of creation of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature, big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. We are ascending together, letting go, arising, Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you, which is quite easy. And more difficult, bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on earth in this moment in time and space, right here, right now, together. We have come to this point two lifetimes. This is the work we need to do to surrender anything, everything that's blocking us, stopping us from stepping into our power, our very essence, which is love light. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling and there's so many of our brothers and sisters feeling suicidal, depressed, desolate, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, frustrated, angry, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps were all children of God. No exceptions, they need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, heat, fire, floods, famine, drought, tornadoes, hurricanes, volcanoes, earthquakes, God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's bring medium shua into this high vibration and anyone who has suffered or is struggling on half of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing, healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious, angelic, high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, cleansing, healing us, nourishing us, Let's share bounty with the world. There's much more than enough love and light to go around. Bringing this high vibration now into all hospitals, helping our angel, doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now in these challenging times on Mother Earth. Gushing forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, rehabilitation centres, anywhere, everywhere on planet Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or are hungry. This God light 
pouring into all war zones, anywhere there's riots, unrest, disharmony, fighting, conflict. St. Michael is with us in all of our battles. Bringing the peace of God, not only for us, but for future generations to come. This unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who is in a position of authority over another human being. Helping them to wake up to our divine essence. We're all children of the source. And let's start simply by putting people before profit. It's not difficult. In this sacred moment, this pristine, crystal clear energy gushing forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth's already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. Right here, right now, this almighty, all-encompassing, all-loving, all-forgiving, high vibration, enveloping Gaia, Earth and Heart have the same letters, growing, expanding, multiplying cleansing and healing all beings. All creatures, great and small, carnate, disincarnate, as it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings with and without bodies, all of God's creatures in all universes, be healthy, happy, kind, generous, loving, forgiving, humble, faithful, trusting, respectful, patient, joyful, abundant, aware, come together in brotherhood and sisterhood and be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
And as we bask in this heavenly, angelic, cleansing, healing energy pouring from the heavens into our open hearts, nourishing us, giving us everything we need and more for this earthly journey. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together this wonderful collective consciousness. One family, sons and daughters of the Casa. Under the banner of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight, knowing that we're not alone. And we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. And today it's always a good time for us to be reminded of the infinite amount of angels, archangels, guardian angels, sent by God to help us, guide us, protect us and love us. And thank you God for sending all of your messengers of love, so many ascended masters, elevated spirits, unseen beings, and these phenomenal entities of light and love infinite phalanges and phalanges with us every step of this journey. We are so blessed. We just need to connect, believe, trust, have faith. All is in divine order exactly where we're meant to be right here, right now. Supported, loved, and for the opportunity to remember these amazing archangels. Get to know them, they are our friends. They are sent by God to help us. Michael protects, Gabrielle announces, and Raphael guides. And thank you, God, for sending our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, all of the Christ consciousness, our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, Queen of Heaven, Queen of the Archangels, Angels and the Saints, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence. We're spiritual beings having a human experience. We're part of creation and life is oh so short and we've been here many times before and there's lessons to be learned down here and they're not easy and we have so much help available from the angelic realms and when the lessons are learned we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings where there's no more pain and no more suffering how great is that and to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, we're time and time again coming together in this sacred hour for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, and it takes guts to walk the path of the light. It's not an easy time and we're so supported and loved. For your trust, your faith, your fortitude, your hope, your light and your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God. Love and service written on the walls of the entities room in Portuguese and English, the motto of the Jesuits the Christ Consciousness. Faith moves mountains and your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around you and Mother Earth. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Rise up, warriors of the light, soldiers of the Christ consciousness. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Nothing can harm a hair on our heads. We have Saint Michael with us to protect us in these spiritual battles on earth. 
reach out, ask for help, and we will receive everything we need and more for this earthly journey. We rise by lifting others. We're just walking each other home. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing. Joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers are being answered always and in always. As we surrender to the will of God Almighty. our protector. I ask him to come to my aid, fight for all of my loved ones and protect us from danger. Saint Gabriel is a messenger of the good news. I ask him to help me clearly to hear your voice and to teach me the truth. Saint Raphael is the healing angel. I ask him to take my need for healing and that of everyone I know, lift it up to your throne of grace and deliver back to us the gift of recovery. Help us, O oh Lord, to realize more fully the reality of the archangels and their desire to serve us. Holy angels of God, Pray for us. Amen. Love, loving, love. 